Good morning, Facebook family, friends, and YouTube subscribers. Today is Monday, is January the 11th of 2016. Over the weekend, um, on Saturday, Sunday morning at around 3 a.m., three young men here in Atlanta died. Two I happen to have known uh, personally died in a car accident. Their names were Cedric Fowler, who was the youngest, he was known as Corky, he was 24. Adam Bailey, 33. I used to train Adam and another friend at Atlantic Station Gym here in Atlanta a few years ago. And Izu Manzano, 36. I was very close friends with Izu. Um, we used to sit and talk for hours um, about relationships and people and just all kinds of stuff. We, he and I had got, we, he and I had become kind of, I'm 45, or actually I'd be 46. I didn't realize I was 10 years older than but he would reach out to me and we'd have these long conversations and talk by text or in person. And um, I never understood. Well, you know, I just didn't know. You know it's just, this is a tragic event for me because um, I knew two of those guys. Um, and these guys were young, handsome, intelligent men, all college graduates or had gone to school. Um, and you just wonder what happened that night. Uh, as they were leaving from a party. From my understanding, they were leaving a party, a guy, an event planner here in Atlanta, A.C. Collins' birthday party. Now, this is what I'm just hearing, so I don't know how much truth is in any of this. And they uh, left the party and were en route somewhere else, maybe home, I don't know, and got on the Buford Highway connector and hit the Brookwood Curve. I've been in Atlanta for 27 years. I'm very familiar with these streets and byways and highways. And it's a very steep curve if you're entering that curve from, from depending on which way they were coming from. I'm under the impression that they were traveling um, southbound towards Spring Street and they hit that curve and the, and the car hit the embankment wall, the retain, retaining wall, and they went over and landed upside down um, on I-75 below, which was about 100 feet, 100 foot drop, and um, they died all died on impact. I find this to be very tragic because Atlanta is a city. I, I've lived here for 27 years. I've seen tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. I've seen tragedy. I've seen so many. I have witnessed and seen so many black gay men die in the city. Uh, me and some friends say Atlanta is a city where black men come to die. And they've died of all types of issues from um, AIDS, car accidents, shootings, murders. Over the years, I'm 20, in, in the past 27 years of me living here since 1989, in fact, I moved here on January 9th, 1990. I'm sorry, January 9th, 1989. So every year that I've lived here, I've witnessed friends and associates die, deaths die here in Atlanta. And it's just odd to me how so many men would come to this city and they actually leave here in the back of a hearse. They don't survive. For various reasons. Atlanta is a party town. This is a place where people come from small cities to party, have fun, drink, do whatever. It's a town where you can do whatever you want without any restrictions. If you're into sex, you can get as much sex as you want. If you're into drugs, you can get as much drugs as you want. And whatever you're into, there's plenty of it here. And available, and you can do whatever you want. If you like drinking and clubbing and partying, there's something going on every night some parties, some events, some house parties, stuff. There's always something to go on. And guys move to Atlanta and they get caught up. And they get so caught up in this environment of partying, the sex, the clubbing, the drugs, they just they lose themselves in this. And eventually they end up losing their lives. We don't know what happened in that car, whoever was driving that uh, Audi A3. They said an Audi A3, but if I'm correct, I thought the owner of that Isu had a BMW. That's because I think that's, it was his car that they were driving, so I don't know. But that car went off that road. So the driver somehow lost control of that car and it went off that in, off cliff. The first thing that comes to my mind were, were these guys drinking and driving? This is all speculation because we don't know yet. But I've lost so many friends to drinking and driving here in Atlanta that is just, 
They leave these clubs drunk as a skunk. And they hit the highways and they go the wrong directions. They have fatal car accidents. So many things happen in the more early morning hours when people are leaving these nightclubs over the years. I've lost so many friends who literally were drunk and high, who hopped into a car, had a terrible car wreck, and killed themselves and other people, other innocent people. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. We have this device, and the sad part about it is in this day and age, no one should be drinking and driving. Now, when you have a smartphone, and you have Uber, and you have people who try to be responsible, you, if those guys, if, the, if this were the case that there was some drinking and driving or drugs involved, none, none of those guys should have been in that car. No one should have been driving that vehicle. Unless at a designated, designated driver, they should have been in an Uber vehicle or some type of taxi headed home, or they should have just found a hotel and just checked into it. From what I understand, the party was at that they left was at the W Hotel in Midtown. And this is what I'm hearing. I don't know. I, I wasn't there, but I do know someone had a AC had a birthday party. If I'm correct, it was at the W Hotel in Midtown. And AC did post. He did see those guys at his party. Coffee. Atlanta is the place where black gay men come to die. I don't think they come here purposely to die. Some do, some don't. But unfortunately, that's what happens. Life can be very short if you're not responsible for your own actions and the consequences of your actions. I've lived here, I did a hell of a lot of shit that I regret. I wish I could, if I can go back to the time machine, there's a lot of things that I would change. I'm just, it's just truly a, for lack of better words, a miracle that I'm sitting here right now because I've made some bad choices in the past that could have take, took my life here in Atlanta. Did some dumb things that I really regret. I do these videos because I, I want us all to think. Stop and think. Life is too short and too precious. If these young men had taken the time and stopped and think before they got in that car, made a different decision, Different choice. Again, you know, this, this is all speculation because we don't know what happened in that car that night. We don't know yet. But we will know shortly. I've lived here long enough so I can call it. Somebody was drunk behind the wheel of that car. I don't think it was a mechanical failure that caused that car to go off that cliff. Someone was drunk and most likely fell asleep. That car hit that wall and it went over. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. I've seen this so often. I can tell y'all some story. I had a friend of mine years ago bought a brand new $150,000 Mercedes Benz. And I remember seeing him in that car leaving the club. And the next day, he, I found, saw the news. He had flipped the car over off the, um, going from, from 85 to 285. And, you know, there's a huge intersection. I forget what it's called. It's a huge interchange. That he, that, he had that car going so fast, it literally flew off the um, highway and overturned, killing him instantly and some other passengers in the car. So I've seen this so many times. And it's always drinking and driving or some type of drugs involved. We, Atlanta is a party city. These guys come here to party and they party hard. They have a, they party hard and they drink and, and we also have to understand something. A lot of these guys are dealing with issues with their sexuality. A lot of these guys, although they're out in the clubs and it seems like they're happy and stuff. They're dealing with issues that involve their sex, sexuality and family members may not know, friends may not know. So it, so it becomes this huge secret. And the only way they can resolve to, 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 to ease the pain, gay men drink and do drugs just so they can just forget about their issues. I'll be very honest with you, it's very difficult for me to go to a club, gay club or a nightclub or party and not drink. I have to drink just to feel, just to, you know, it just, it is what it is. So I'm very sorry that we lost these three men. I hope, I'm hoping that this wakes our community up and get people to thinking. Don't drink and drive. If you are gonna drink, use your resources like Uber. Call a taxi, walk home, catch, park your car, 
check into a hotel. There are hotels everywhere. You, 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 I've been in hotels. I'm not, I'm drunk now. They, they give you a deep discount just so you can stay the night. Don't risk getting into a car, trying to go home or wherever, if you know that you are just, just simply too drunk. And this is a major problem within our community. We've lost too many intelligent, smart, handsome black gay men in the past year. I tell my longer than Facebook, somebody else has passed away. A lot of stuff is just, you know, we, it's, it's the devastating consequences of, of our own actions. We have to be responsible for the things that we do, and we have to think smarter and do things wiser. I'm very sorry about these three guys' deaths. Um, it sad me for, very, made me very sad because, like I said, I'm 46. I've been here for 27 years. I've seen so much stuff taken. I will, I will be 46 on April 9th. But I've seen so much tragic stuff here in Atlanta that it's, it's, it's sad me over the years. I know I'm criticized heavily for, and some people might criticize me on this video. I don't care, guys. I'm, I'm going to speak my mind. If you don't like it, you know, then just, you can just delete it or don't watch the video. If you like my videos, please click like, share them with family members and friends and associates and people. I want people, I want us to be able to, I do these videos because I want us to be, to talk. I kind of want to educate our community. I want to change things, if that's possible. I just don't know if it is. Anyway, enjoy your Monday. I'm out of here. Back to drinking my coffee. You guys have a good day and I love you all.